Yo guys, what is up? So, welcome to my new YouTube channel. Basically, I'm going to be putting a bunch of tutorials on how to use like Logic, Final Cut Pro, how to code a little bit, maybe some Photoshop, and a bunch of other tutorials. Today, I'm going to be talking about Logic Pro and pretty much how to become a pro in Logic. You should know by the end of this video, the ins and outs, pretty much how to record a song, how to export the song, tweak some things, and stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to be going into a lot of detail because a lot of tutorials on YouTube, there's just a bunch of clowns and they just keep talking and talking and it ends up being like a 30 minute video and you don't really learn that much. So in order to open Logic Pro, you just need to click on the icon or open it from your spotlight and click on file and click on new and that will bring you to a page like this. You just want to create a software instrument and just click create. Now in this example, I'm not going to be using a MIDI keyboard, which is the keyboard most producers use when they plug into their USB. I'm going to be strictly using this keyboard right here. We'll talk about that in a second, but first let me just show you the interface. So as soon as you open it up, it might seem a little bit intimidating. There might be too much stuff going on, but right here to the right is basically whenever you record something, everything's going to come right here. So if you're recording audio, uh, your electric piano here or drums, everything's going to be recorded here. And here are your instruments. So if you have more than one instrument, which you most likely are, you can uh, quickly swap between this one or this one and this one and change the volume here, uh, change the pan, whether you want it to the left or center or zero, uh, whether you want to mute it or you want to have that one, the only thing playing. Here is just your audio peripherals where you can just change stuff. Peripherals is a good word. I'll get some more details in this in a second. If you're a beginner, you don't really need to worry about this. Uh, this is kind of more advanced stuff. And here is where you basically tweak your instruments or change these instruments. And you can search your library of drum kits or piano kits. And you can easily swap between deluxe, modern, and all these other pianos. And notice whenever I click here, this name changes here too. So. So these kind of go hand in hand. Here is just your stuff that if you don't want this showing, you can hide that. If you don't want the information showing, you can hide that. This is a stop button right here. This is the play button. Here's your recording button. You can also start recording by clicking R on your keyboard. And here is just your timing stuff. So how many measures you're at. The beats per minute. So if you want your thing going higher or slower, you can go ahead and do that there. These two arrows here only allow this part of the uh, song to be playing. So it just loops this over and over again. You can also extend it and you can also move it around and stuff like that you can extend it this way I do this sometimes I'm not going to lie this actually comes in handy quite a bit and here's your metronome you should be using this all the time but for the sake of this video I'm not going to use it and some stuff here I never really use and up here we have your file you can save and export whatever so pretty much we're going to be making a basic drum kit and putting like a basic piano roll over it so it's not going to be anything intense nothing too dramatic but you should be able to see how we do it and you can mimic the same thing and just advance your knowledge from there so first thing you want to do is you want to find a good drum kit that you use. Now, if you downloaded the drum kit associated with Logic that you get for free, I think you should get this one called Trapdoor. Trapdoor is one of those drum kits that when you double click here, it allows you to individualize each single instrument so you can edit it a little bit more. So next thing you want to do is you want to pull up the piano. Now, nobody really talked about how to pull up the piano because everybody already had MIDI keyboards. But if you wanted to use the keyboard on your computer, all you need to do is click Command K and this little keyboard thing will pop up. Um, it comes in really handy if you don't want to bring your MIDI keyboard everywhere. So for this example, we're just going to be making a, a kick, a hat, and a snare. So it's going to go like this. And we're just going to loop that over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to click record. So that's basically all we need to do. And we're going to take this to the beginning if we didn't already. And we're going to zoom in and we want to get now you notice this gap right eventually what we're going to do is we're going to loop this over and over and over again and if this is not as close as we can here it's going to be completely offbeat and we want to do the same thing with the ending as well so all you need to do is zoom in to the first note as close as possible and you want to click command T click on the left side or the right side depending on where the empty space is click delete zoom out take this and pull it to the beginning again so now and it should just immediately get into the song uh, and then we ended it right there and you want to click command T once more and you can click whether you want to shorten it or split it I usually just split it click OK and just delete the left side because it doesn't really matter and now what we have is a drum break and if we click on the arrow thing up here and we drag this to number three and we just play it it'll loop it over and over again so we have a drum break that's almost 100% on beat. You can see towards the ending, 
we have a little bit of an issue. So all we have to do is double click here and it'll bring us down here. Let me get this piano out of the way. It'll bring us down here to a little bit of a piano to the left in our notes that we have. And we can shorten these, we can extend these, we can move these around. And all this is is basically whatever we just typed up here is right down here. So when we click here, And now we have a almost 100% on beat snare uh, drum kit, except not really. We also have to make sure these beginning ones are on beat as well. So let's go ahead and zoom into each one of these single notes. And we want to make sure that each note is on beat. So these lines right here represent the basically the measures. So the kick, the hat, and the snare all basically land on these respective lines. So they're all pretty much like one, two, two lines away, if that makes any sense. And they're all supposed to land right on these single lines, but as you can see right here on this one, it does not land on that line. So all we need to do again is just move it this way, come to this one, and this kick is way off. Move this kick this way. Cool. And once that is on beat 100%, we can incorporate those kicks once more that we tried to do in the beginning. So click Command C, or you can also double click here and click Copy. And we wanna make sure it's at the kick, so if we just know where the kick's at, actually. We just Command C it. And then click around here. I believe this is where the kick starts. And we can add that kick there, and let's see what it sounds like. Perfect. And while that's playing, you can also tinker around with the BPM if you wanna make it a little bit faster. Now, if you're listening to it, it might seem a little bit plain. It might seem like there's just not that much going on. It might seem like everyone else is beat or whatever. So what we can do is we can click right here, but all we need to do is figure out which one of our instruments are playing. And when you do that by clicking space, and you can see that these are the only three instruments that we are using. So we can click on the kick, and we have all these types of profiles that we can change. So we have uh, pitch, envelope, distortion, sub, body, presence, pan, and volume. So we can just turn the pitch down a little bit, Whatever we like, envelope, whatever, distortion, up, sub, I usually can turn all the way up in the body. This is going to be like really loud, but uh, recipes have on users. So we can go back to the beginning. That kick is like too loud, so we can go back to the beginning. Click on the kick. Turn down the volume a little bit. And while we're here, we'll go to the hi-hat, turn the pitch down a little bit. We'll go to the snare, turn the pitch down a little bit. And maybe turn the length down a little bit too. You see that it's a whole different song now. And that's basically all you have to do. So we turn that generic like drum kit into something more uh, by just changing out the previews a little bit. So now what we can do is we can click plus up here, click on software instrument and click create. And let's go ahead and add a simple piano to it. So I'm gonna be using the Stanway Grand Piano but you can use whatever piano you want to. And so what I usually tend to do is I just kinda like playing this in the background and then mess around with the piano a little bit as much as I can. So let's just go with that. So let's go back to the beginning and either we can click record or we can click record up here. So let's just click up here. Cool, that sounds pretty decent. So like I said before with the drums, we can just double click here and we can tinker around with these. I've said tinker so many times in this video. I want to double click on the piano and there's a bunch, <laughs> there's a couple more options that we get. Uh, we have reverb, ambience, and all this kind of stuff. I kind of want to turn the amp reverb up a little bit. Uh, let's turn the ambience a little bit high. Let's see what this sounds like. Cool, that does, actually doesn't sound that bad. So now what we can do is we can unclick this and we can just go ahead and loop this over and over again. So this will just happen over and over and over and over again. Nothing too exciting, but it is kind of cool that we just created something from nothing. So what we can do actually is we can go ahead and take this and maybe take it up to the fifth. Let's see. However, let's see how many of these we can get through. All right, cool. So all we have to do now is drag this part to about the ending or sorry, the beginning of this part. Let me go ahead and hide this keyboard real quick of the grand piano. So all we have to do now is kind of listen to it and see how it sounds.
not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and click here and click loop on off. So all we do is just double click and click loop on off. Let's listen to it one more time. It's, it's not the greatest sounding thing, but it's not bad. And from there, obviously, you can tinker around these other things as well. And now once we're done with that part, all we really need to do now is export the song. So all we have to do is click File, click Bounce, and click Project or Section. And now you want to make sure that this, you just kind of want to double check and just click zero and make sure it starts from the beginnings. And basically from this one video, you should know the layout of Logic, you know, how to record a song, how to add a new instrument, how to add a new drum kit, how to mess with the drum kits and piano kits, mess with the volumes of each, the pan of each, you know, pitch and all that kind of stuff. How to loop project over, how to use your keyboard on your computer to make songs and basically your mouse as well. How to align each note and how to quantize a note to make sure it's on beat and all that. And pretty much how to bounce the project or export the project at the ending. So this is, this is pretty exciting stuff. In my later videos, I will talk more on, uh, what these little things mean, how to even sample in these things, what each of these things, not each of these, but what most of these things mean. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, comment in the comment section if you guys have any questions at all uh i'm going to be buying a new mic soon so the audio quality of this is not the best yeah make sure you subscribe this is my new channel so uh i'm still gonna be posting videos on the other channel this is kind of just a tutorial channel like i talked about i'm in on snapchat instagram twitter all those things are on actually in the description and on the screen i think i love all you guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out